Hello and welcome back Josh and Sam who is texting me down the bottom there. I don't know if it will pick that up. Hope you've been well since last time. It's been all of a day. Um, but as I said to you this morning, I had to stay in to wait for a package to be delivered. So I thought I'd record an extra video. Uh, now, I wasn't sure what games I wanted to record to show you. Um, uh, I wanted to, I thought it might be interesting to show some of these games, but I was kind of sure we'd lose them all, um, so I didn't. Uh, Fulham are in League One, and I thought that the Cup game against them wouldn't be all that interesting. Uh, and so then I, but then we got drawn against Leicester in the next round of the FA Cup, so I thought, well, that's perfect. Josh likes Leicester, um, and then nobody really likes Sheffield United, so we'll go against them. Uh, in the meantime, uh, we. So what games did we play? Yeah, so we played the fourth round of the FA Cup against Sheffield Wednesday. Uh, two goals from Billy Watts, finally getting himself back on the score sheet there. Score sheet there. Finally getting himself back on the score sheet. And Albert Bayon uh, did nicely for us uh, through to the fifth round. Uh, we then lost, unfortunately, to Tottenham. They were better than us. Um, but there we go, Bayon scored again, and I think went off injured as well, which was irritating. Uh, we then drew 1-1 with Man City, uh, which was a nice result, came back from behind. Uh, I think we were ahead against Arsenal, I'm not sure, but either way we drew with them as well. Um, at, at which point the Premier League, uh, well particularly after this result, the Premier League starts to look pretty glim, uh, grim for us. Uh, but we had a distraction in the FA Cup of the uh, League One side Fulham. We went 4-0 up in the first half and then took our foot off the gas a bit in the second half and they dragged two back. But we still won 4-2. Lovely. And then we drew with Sunderland. We went 1-0 down within about three minutes. They hadn't won in ten games. Uh, but Billy Watts, uh, relatively speaking, on sensational form, uh, equalised for us. We couldn't then go on to the, to the link. Um, uh, onto the win, sorry. Um, and that was annoying. Uh, very annoying, in fact. Uh, luckily, oh, and then even worse, against Norwich, who are second bottom, I think they're slightly below Sunderland, um, they went 1-0 up as well, but we came back to win that one, Georgie Cunningham finally back from injury, I, I chucked him on as a sub, uh, he scored a hat-trick, um, and Billy Watts got two, that's great, uh, we then played Leeds, Cunningham got another two, so that we avoided drawing to the team that's never beaten anyone this season. Uh, and then we beat West Ham, which is a big result because they are above us in the Premier League. Now, I said that things were looking a bit ropey. At one point, we were 11th down here. Uh, in the last couple of games, as I said, we just won three. So we're back within sniffing distance of the top four. <laughs> and that's why the result against West Ham was so important, because we've really dragged them back into us. Uh, obviously, as you can see, uh, is it Arsenal and City below us have a game in hand over us, so we'll probably be back down to ninth uh, or eighth. Um, but we have a good end to the season. Our run in from this point on is very nice, including a game against Huddersfield and Wolves at the end of the season. Um, but I mean, really, we should be winning all those games. They're all games against teams that we should be expecting to win, they're all games against teams in the bottom half of the table. Uh, you know the title's definitely out of question, but if we win all the re our remaining games, I'm feeling confident that we could get up to fifth or fourth, uh, or maybe even third. Um, so we'll see, we'll see. But it's not being uh, great. In fact, there was even um, discontent from the board about disappointing how how we're doing the season. So that's not nice. Uh, but we now come to a game against Leicester City. Uh, first, before we do that, I've been wondering why I can't get the same kind of performances out of Billy Watts that England do. So I was wondering if we can work out what um, where they play him and try and find uh, how do I do it? Uh, fixtures. Try and find out if I'm just playing him in the wrong position. Um, he didn't score in that game. Uh, can we look at your fixtures from last year? Did he score in that game? No, I'd like to know where they're, where they're playing him because he's good for them. So where did he play in this game? Formations. He played top left, but do, can we see what position? Uh, no, I don't want to do that. <laughs> Jesus. Good, thank you. Um, I didn't really want to do that, so there we go. Um, classic pitch for split view. Are we able to see where he what posi what what role he was playing? Billy Watts. No. 
Okay, well, fine, we can't, but we see he's playing up on the left for them. He's play, his favourite position is an advanced forward, so maybe that's, because I play him as a poacher, so maybe that's what we're doing wrong. Anyway, Wester Supermare is gripped by FA Cup fever. 41,000 seats will be filled in the Woodspring Stadium uh, for the visit of 12th place Leicester City. Uh, I talked up our amazing strike force in the pre-match press conference. I'm hoping that we will win. So let's get straight to it. Um, oh, and another exciting thing uh, of the only exciting thing really is I signed Carl Easley, but only on loan till the end of the season. Um, so it's not as if he's uh, with us forever. But I did input one of those buy call, buy clauses, so that if uh, we get to the end of the season and we want to sign him, we can do so for nine million pounds, which is slightly less than his net worth. So that's Gucci goo good for me. Now then, come on, let's get on with it. Crags scored for Oldham. <laughs> nice name, sir. <laughs> it's a very northern name. Uh, Crags scored for Oldham all weekend. Anyway, oh, Jonathan Ploger. Pluger, is his name Pluger? Who knows? Man, he's... Why is he even in the team? It's good that they're good that they're playing crap players because it might mean that we can get through to the next round of this crappy cup that's rubbish i love the cup uh carl easley of course cup tied but fine we've got loop uh Lupko sabani uh now i have noticed that spencer's been playing poorly recently so i'm going to take him out lucio is back to fitness so i'm going to put him in um and Otherwise, I think I'm going to leave it except to make him an advanced forward attack. Uh, let's see how that goes, because Cunningham has been playing well on the left there. Six or seven goals in his last three games or something ridiculous like that, so that's nice. Um, let's get down to business to defeat the Foxes. Team talk, calm. Come on, lads, show me what you can do. Passionate, I think there's a lot more to come. And I completely believe you've got what it takes. Oh, hello. No, 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 no. What's going on there? <laughs> TV view, please. Lovely. Van Vliet, Janin, Garcia Navas, Suarez, Sanchez. Oh, yes. Gone in. Gone in. What's he? What's he, boy? Is it going to be Cunningham? Oh, yes. Come on. 41 seconds in. Ooh. Yes. Yes. Lovely old job. Georgie Cunningham finally finding his feet in the team. He's ousted Mads Pedersen, who, who who was doing decent in the start in the middle of the season, but has kind of gone off the boil a little bit. Uh, Daniel puts it... Oh, it's off the crossbar. And he's caused a foul, of course. But fair enough. We're winning 1-0. Who cares? Eight minutes in. McCary, Daniel, Cunningham, Watts. Go on, be an attacking forward, you monster. Mounier, no. Daniel, no. Nasuf, no. Kiebi. Okay, Bayon. Hopefully he can put together a run of run of uh, games towards the end of the season because he's been obviously out for... He was out at the beginning of the season. He played two games and then was out for another bit of time. And then when he came back, I put him in as a substitute and he came off on that game injured. So I'm hoping that we can keep him alive. Yeah, okay, good. Because otherwise I'm going to sell him because I'm not, I'm not willing to have our best centre-back be constantly on the bench sick and be paying him money so we can't afford to do that as west of supermare so we're not going to all right they've got a corner it's looking dangerous van vliet casolo nicely worked there okay lucio back from injury we were playing uh, mr kovic out on the right but uh, he's obviously left-footed and so wasn't very effective going forward um, but he was much better than playing Nuccioni there, who's an actual right back, but just not very good. Big Justice and Bele. He must be closing in on his 250th appearance for the club at this point. He's a legend. He's a, he's also the club record goal, a record uh, appearance maker because he's just that good. He took the record uh, late last season from Yannick Teixeira Barbosa or Captain Barbosa as. Uh, oh! I, oh! You had time. You had time. Bugger. All right. You'll probably be able to hear it's another lovely day with people messing around with their cars and stuff outside. 
and dogs. <laughs> oh, you, you had him then. Go on. Come on. Yeah, oh, nice tackle, nice tackle. Come on, Glavina. Mbele, yes, he's such a good player. He's not, though. Like, why is it that some players are... I mean, he's tall, but he's not great in the air, weirdly. Like, he's not got great jumping. Lucio, yes, Bayon, Glavina, Cunningham. That's a great ball. Kotnik, Billy Watts, yes! Come on! We're going through to the next round of the cup. Come on. It's a great finish. Although, would he have scored that? Would he have even been in that position if he was being a poacher? It's hard to say. He'd probably have been offside. They're, u <laughs> they're usually offside. That's how my players work. Perkins on the right. It's a very nice... Brad Perkins. It's a very nice middle management name. What's it going to be? Is it going to be yellow carded? Yeah. All right, come on in. Let's not waste time. We've got goals to get. Georgie Cunningham. I'm glad Cunningham is getting some goals because he was very disappointing last season and he'd started the season absolutely dreadfully. Right, anyway, hopefully this can be a springboard onto the rest of our season. Keep going the way you're playing. Daniel, I see, is yellow carded and tired, so I'll take him off at about 55. Corner. No. Lucio. Glavina. Yes. Daniel, what's he going to do? Cut it back. Kotnik. Yes, look at that. Come on. 3-0. Easy, mate. Let's look at the stats. Bring the stats up. Forgot to do that. Three clear-cut chances. Oh, we're thrashing them. Beautiful work. I'll give him another couple of minutes and we'll take him off. He's made his goal. He's happy. Is that Orlando Saar? Can't be. I think he's a striker. I'm not even sure he's real either, so that's a question that nobody else will be able to understand except for me. <laughs> there was a player called Orlando Saar. I don't know if he's real or not. Um, he's good, though. Uh, or he was good, but he must at this point be quite old. Right, we're going to bring on Sabani. I'm going to keep my eye on Bayon as well. I might replace him at about 65 if things are staying good, so as not to knacker him out too much. We all know what will happen. He'll break his knee or strain his kneecap or something like that. That's what. I think he had a bruised kneecap was the second. He broke his leg in the preseason friendly or training before the first game of the season and then did his kneecap. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. I need to wrap him in cotton wool. Georgie Cunningham. Kotnik. Watts. Montinelli. Sabani. Glavina. Sabani. Montinelli. Mounier. Oh, nice. All right, let's take a look at Bayon. He's actually doing pretty well for health. <laughs> okay, never mind then. Kiebe. Lucio's throw. Oh, we wanted a goal. Sanchez and Bele. Cunningham. Uh, guys. Ah. It's all right, get him down. That's such a good player. Mbele is the best. Best day. Right. I'm going to put... put Sp oh, no, I don't do that. I'm going to do Spencer on for Glavina. And that's it. No, I'm going to take off T uh, Lucio because he was just coming back from injury as well. Here we go, then. And also it gives uh, Nuccioni an appearance. Maybe he'll get an FA Cup winner's medal. Maybe we all will. Ooh. Obviously, it's only it's one or the other. We all get them or no one gets them. But, oh, uh, what? That dog again. It only seems to be barking when I'm doing recording. It never barks otherwise. Ball thrown in. Garcia Navas has no problem with it. Sanchez clumps the ball up to Glavina. We take back over. Look at this. Calm and collected at the back. This looks like the team that won the league again. Not this. <laughs> yeah, this looks like the team that won the league again. Oof. Good. We're hoping that that was a burp. We're hoping that uh, we can recover for a strong end of the season. If we win all the rest of our games, which we're totally capable of doing, although we have proven this season that we're susceptible to playing badly against the poor teams. Uh, if we can win the league... So, sorry. If we can win all the rest of our games, 
I feel like we'll probably end up somewhere in the European places. And that was what we were aiming for. The pre-season um, expectations were to qualify for the Europa League um, via the league. Um, and I really would like to achieve that because I didn't do it last season, so I, I didn't achieve bloody hell. Okay, fine. That's fine. We can play Pedersen or, or Hockanson can both play um, right midfield in a pinch. So next game, that's what they'll be doing. It gives Pedersen something to do as well, um, other than stew in his own juices. But yeah, if we if we win all of our games, I feel like, uh, which is something we can do, I feel like we will definitely... Uh, be in the conversation for the European spots. Oh, don't get injured again. Like, with such a good game, two right-sided players get injured. <sighs> I really... The game against Spurs was particularly irritating because the player who created their first goal and then scored their second was Dean Mulrain, who was sold to them by us. Uh, and it was particularly irritating. The the, the, the the press didn't even mention that he was coming back... Um, to play for the first time at the Woodspring Stadium, which occasionally they do. I don't know what, how many times they have to have played for a team before they uh, get that particular message when they when they return to their old stadium. Uh, but uh, yeah, they didn't mention it this time around, and good because I'd have had to say I hate him and I don't. I liked him; he was very good. I was the making of him. I signed him for three million off of Man United because they thought he was no good. Sam, you'll remember I was at your house when I did that, <laughs> and then he went on to win the Premier League with us. So yeah. Good sideways move there for him. Well done, Western Supermare. That is a 3-0 win at home against Leicester City. Those feisty foxes. We've knocked them out. And that means we could have a very good... Like, I mean, West Brom, the winner of that game. If we can get that result, if we can get that, uh, that in the draw, that'd be great. Let's see if we can... And then we'll, we're the, the plan, by the way, is to play uh, the Sheffield United game. So we will just see if we can find out who we get drawn in the cup. Because, God, if I could get someone rubbish and we can sneak through to the final, that's that would be awesome. Because I think the sixth round is actually the quarter final. No. Sixth round is the is the round of 16. And then there's the quarters, semis, and stuff. What the hell happened in that partisan group game that everyone paid money for? Backroom advice, Cristiano Ronaldo. Anything good? Uh, yeah, we could actually train him as a right back. Go on. Um, well, it is really good though. No, disagree with you. Clavina, they can't all be, but uh, he can. Now, come on. Give us a decent draw in the cup for Christ's sake. Semi final, yes. Um, do we have anyone good? No, they're all terrible. Uh, I mean, look at that. I mean, if we can get, if we can avoid those two teams, if we can draw Stoke or Southampton, it's us. I mean, why? Obviously, that Stoke isn't going to knock out Man United, but why could we not? Why? was not about that Arsenal 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 Arsenal. when did we last beat them yeah we've had two close games I mean we probably could beat them but it's unlikely I mean the last time we actually did beat them was two seasons ago possibly was that the season we won the league we beat them twice yeah I think it might have been so <laughs> have to watch out for Vaslav Kadlec who's real and good but I mean not as good as my players I don't know why my players never do as well as him anyway so that's going to take over that so let's just see what's that what that's done for our fixtures I could see myself recording that one as the next uh, video so I might play the Sheffield United game play the next three and then record that one and then possibly Leicester again um, how long is in between these games there's three days in between those two so we could watch those two together I don't know and then I would plan to play depending on how the league goes out, play those two. So I might do this one, play those two off camera, then on camera do the City-Arsenal games, and then on camera do the Huddersfield Wolves games, because that will really be the making or breaking of us. Oh God, it's going to be Man United in the final for whoever gets there. Brilliant. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Leeds are having a dreadful season. 
14. Actually, is that worse than... No, nah, that's still better. <laughs> it's worse than Bolton, and Bolton conceded nearly double the amount of goals that they did. <laughs> um, so good, fine. Come on, Em. Come on. Come on. Got a long way, a lot of days to sim through in this game, and this PC is not going to be able to do that easily. Hope you guys have got good plans for the weekend, by the way. I'm working 24 hours, uh, Saturday and Sunday nights. And then I'm going to Berlin next week to do some comedy. It'll be exciting. Oh, man, look how many goals we've conceded. Oh, so many. Uh, we need a new right back, as it turns out, because uh, Lucio is both slightly injury prone and not as good as he used to be. And um, what a championship tie that is, by the way. Colchester versus Liverpool. Oh, Carlisle 3, Newcastle 2. <laughs> um, yeah, so... Pavel Herman? Ah, he used to be mine. Had him a long time ago. That was back in the Premier League early days. Got a whole 11 goals for us. Didn't do very well at Tottenham either, but we made a hefty profit on him for someone who was quite so rubbish. Oh, I liked him. He was nice. Okay, well, good. Um, I don't want him, obviously. No, I don't want him back. God, no. Um, what was I saying can't remember doesn't really matter I suppose what we need here is for Bristol City and for Stoke to well Stoke and City could do with drawing but Bristol City could do with beating our friends over in oh United drew with Huddersfield Stoke drew with City <laughs> Arsenal won 4 now, fine but that puts us back down to 8th I mean it's very irritating one win could put us fifth, but we would then still have to hope that all those three teams lose. Um, it's unlikely. This is the problem. This is why we need to win them all, all of our league games. So hopefully we can spank Sheffield United and put us as well on the way to doing that. Bought a new ironing board yesterday. And by new, I mean an ironing board. We, we, we hadn't had one before, uh, but now we do. We've got ourselves an ironing board finally, um, just in time for a weekend's worth of ironing, I suppose. I've got all of my shirts need ironing. <laughs> I have to do that tonight. Sigh. Oh well. Come on. <laughs> Run through quicker, please, so I don't have to keep filling time. Yes, 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 yes. Ian Croder. Oh, I, I did see something funny. The Leeds manager is... Um, uh, let me find out the name of the Leeds manager because he's uh, it's the goal, former England goalkeeper. Oh, no, no they, they got rid of him. Uh, they used to have... Um, where's the... Is it Landmarks? What was his name? Or is it not them? Patrick Kisnorbo. What's he still about? It might not be them. It might be Sunderland. Yeah, it is. Scott Carson. <laughs> Scott Carson is the manager for Sunderland. He ended up getting 14 caps. Is that the same as real life, or is that game caps? Um, anyway, he's rubbish. He's doing all right, though. They've nearly beat us. Drew with us. It's very irritating. Right, let's see what's going on. Uh, Sheffield United are not doing well. They might be... Sunderland might be being taken over, which I suppose would be nice. I remember one, my, my famous Notts County Football Manager 2010 game, um, Middlesbrough got taken over by an uh, oil-rich billionaire and uh, <laughs> uh, ended up going on some... They just went on to become like the best team in, in England, fighting with me, uh, Notts County, every, se every season for the uh, title. Now... We did everything fine last season, last game, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out Cro uh, Kotnik because he's slightly tired. Uh, we've put Spencer in at the centre-back because uh, Justice and Bailey has been booked. Uh, Gerard Quigley, <laughs> the Irishman. He's got eight caps, jeez. Uh, anything for us? Oh, Mads Pedersen's going to make his 225th appearance for Weston. Nice. What a great hero. What a great servant he's been for the club. Right, let's go out there and beat them. Um, I've got faith, lads. I've got faith. And I've been saying there's no pressure on you. And that, and that really makes Billy Watts and George Cunningham do well. Um, so let's hope that that can happen again. Obviously, them playing in red means we can't play in white. I know in real life that they play in 
white and red, but I feel like a full white kit would be fine um, up against that. Anyway, whatever. Oh, Spencer, come on. I found out, I, I noticed one stat that we've actually scored the most. I f- was complaining in one of the episodes I recorded that we don't seem to score very many from corners, but we're actually the top scorers in the league from uh, <laughs> goals scored from corners. So I don't know what I'm talking about. Quigley, we just looked at you and we noted that you were bad. Obviously, that means that he's going to score. Pedersen, do not shoot. Lucio, Watts, Lucio, Dania, Watts, Glavina, uh, Dania. Would it be Dania? I, I keep saying Dania, but it's D-A-G-N-A, Dagna. I don't know how you would Spanishify that. Lucio throws the ball in. Nobody's there. Or oh, Bayon. Spencer, Bayon. Cunning. <laughs> what was he trying to do that with that? <laughs> was that a header? Sometimes they get weird, like it tells you that they've done weird things like doing overhead kicks. I wish I could be bothered to play it in. Oh, Cunningham, yes! Come on! Yes! That's a ridiculous run of goal scoring for him he's in. Come on! Yes. I mean, how? despite how poor Leeds have been, they're still only... Well, okay, they're now nine points off, but they're still not that far off. They've only won one game all season. <laughs> Won one game all season, and with nine games left, you're still, ooh, you're still, uh, you're still in with a chance of staying up. I think even Bolton last season, it took until the I beat them like on the sort of fourth last game of the season, and that was all it. That was what took it to finally get them down. But which seems odd. It seems weird how long it takes for someone to be um, mathematically relegated, despite the fact they're terrible. Billy Watts. Oh yes. Yes, yes, yes. Billy Watts, come on. Could this master stroke of changing his changing his uh, preferred role just in this last bit of the season be what makes us this league? Oh, well, makes us into the into Europe. I want fifth at the very least, but obviously I would love um, to finish back in the top four. Mounier. No, you could have just put that straight in, couldn't you? And then it would have probably been a goal and stuff. Uh, Greg... Damilola Greg, he's real. Oh, there's a, there's a bit of sad news, um, by the way. It seems that Charlton might be being relegated from the uh, championship. Go on. Yeah, I looked at the league the other day, um, and they are in the relegation zone. I don't know if they still are, obviously, uh, since then we've played a couple of games, but um, we'll, we'll check that out after the end of the game. Come on, who else is playing today? Arsenal are winning. That's not good. That's not what we want. We want Stoke to equalise. Billy Watts again. We want... uh, I mean, QPR could beat Chelsea. Keep the league interesting at the top. I'm not too bothered about that. Leeds, if you could draw with Villa, that would not be bad for us. Anything that basically means we're slightly closer to winning the league. uh, Winning uh, again in the... the, uh, Qualifying for Europe. Pedersen! Fine. Cunningham, though. What a player. Yes. Hide that. Let's put the basic match stats up. Oh, we're thrashing them. Take that down so we can see what's going on. Lucio. 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 Glavina. Oh, it's a good effort from the edge of the box there. Let's just check. Yeah, we're still smashing them. <laughs> As we obviously are, because we haven't had nothing's happened except for us smashing them. So, good. We're playing with an average rating of seven. Did we just get an injury? Keep your eyes on so many things in this game. Uh, yes, it looks like Mounier has been smacked around the head. Okay, calm. You guys are playing well. Someone's putting their bins out. I'll be doing that in a moment. Finally got some, th- this package I got. Finally got some new t-shirts, which is what I was waiting for. Just in time for WrestleMania. Got my new Daniel Bryan t-shirt because I'm cool. I'm into wrestling a little bit. Bayon, Lucio. He's offside. He's good finish. All right, with your bottles. God. That, that noise is my beard. They scored. Quigley, of course. <sighs> right, let's put on Sabani. Glavin is still playing great. The other guys are still fine. I might bring on Murkovic. Yeah, go for it. That looks nice to me. 
No more though, please. Sheffield United, you've had your one. How many goals have they scored this season? 25. Eh, not bad. Pedersen. Go on, do some magic. What? Sabani. Go on. Cunningham. Oh, ha, ha. oh, he's running riot. Come on. Just one more goal and we'll, I'll be happy. One of you can have a break. I'll take one of you off. One more goal. Cunningham. Hold it. Yes, what? No, what? Why? You never score goals like that. Glavina. Spencer. It's a great ball. Cunningham. <sighs> Disappointing. Not quite why you cut inside to then smash it way wide. I don't know why you would do that. Um, nothing much seems to be happening. So we're getting more booking. We get booked a lot. I don't know um, if that's something that... I can't remember. It feels like that's something that happens quite a lot with most of my players. But... Oh no, he didn't actually get booked in the end. Um, Billy Watts, do I want to change Pedersen for Krotnik? Kotnik even? Co I don't really like his name. Uros Kotnik. It's hard to remember because it's weird. Um, I'll, put, I'll put him on. Maybe he can uh, get himself a goal. Mads Pedersen, come off. What's going on? Nothing... Oh, Robbie Rowe. Oh, poor Robbie Rowe. Come on. Do something. Something happened. I'm recording it. It's much more interesting when I'm not recording these games. Uh, Cunningham. Why would you do that? Why would you head it clear like that? Why wouldn't you just take a touch and turn and get rid of it? Get rid of it. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. No. Yes. Cunningham. Cunningham. Puts the ball up. Kotnick. He just that was a simple through ball you had to play then. Ay, ay, ay. Of course you did, Kotnik. I don't like his name. Does he? He? I think. I feel like he needs a. Well, either he needs an R in there, or he just needs a different um, nickname. Oh, Sabani, what is wrong with you? Why would you give anyone a free kick there? Did he get booked? He did get booked. Of course he got booked. Okay, we're gonna. Oh, I can't make any more. What? Oh yeah, Christ. I forgot I made the Merkovic signing. Uh, substitution. Come on. 2-1 is fine, but I would prefer it not to be that. Why are you leaving so many... You, I, I point at the screen quite a lot during these recordings and during the game itself when I'm playing it not on camera. Um, yeah, ooh, oh, 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 Quigley, you bugger. Yes, out, out, yes. Um, yeah, my point was I, I point a lot to the screen um, when I could be doing it with my mouse, but I do a lot of that kind of, fuck, no, look. Uh, and you obviously can't appreciate that. Ah, uh, see, and then Danny gets injured. For God's sake. Not great. But it's okay. Monty. What? Just because he's off, the left midfielder's off injured, doesn't mean that no one should stand in that position to, take, to receive the ball. No. Yes. Billy Watts. Cunningham. Go on, son. Montinelli. You, oh, you don't tackle the ball into the path of their striker. Ugh. Is this going to be the first ever episode where we win both the games played? He said confidently. No. Yes. We escape Sheffield with the points. Yes. Come on. Man of the match? Of course, it was Georgie Cunningham. Uh, can I say that? No, we're away from home. Let's not be mean. Um... Would be fun though. I don't think I've ever clicked on that button before in my life in this game. Um, good effort, lads. Uh, yeah, we really were much worse in that second half. Uh, but good news: Leicester lost, so that's I suppose that's good. Chelsea did win, so Chelsea are going to win the league. Although maybe not. So United have two games in hand on them. Um, let's just continue. And then I'll save it, and we'll we'll see you next time. Ready for the next round of the cup where we have to play Arsenal I am not looking forward to that game I think we will lose it oh that's good that's a good result that one there I'm pointing at the screen again that one there is a good result because that means that we are now within touching distance of Huddersfield yeah we're just two points behind them yes we can do it we can do it we can do it four games one in a row this is going to be good. Let's go back to the fixture screen. 
So we will see you again here in two games time. Bye.